Good morning, children. So in today's class, we are going to do some extra sums. We have completed chapter number seven. So let us take there are some few extra sums. So the first one, isosceles of angle B and angle C of an isosceles triangle with AB equals to AC intersect at point O. BO is extended to a point M. So to prove Angle MOC is equal to angle ABC. So here the first one, the triangle is isosceles triangle. So it is given that so it is ABC. That with AB equals to AC. So it is given. Isosceles of angle B and angle C meet at point O. So the Bisectors angle B and angle C meet at point O. So here the line segment OB divides angle B into two equal parts. So these two measurements are equal, and the line segment OC bisects angle C. So these two parts are also equal. So they both meet at the point O. B on is Produced to point M, so BO is produced. That is, BO is extended to point M. Produced to point M. So this one is point M. Now here they have given you have to prove angle MOC. So MOC. So this angle equals to angle ABC. So you will prove this angle measurement equals to angle B. So now, here they have given that the triangle is isosceles triangle ABC, where AB equals to AC, and the two isosceles of angle B and angle C meet at point O. BO is produced to meet the side AC and M. So you have to prove. Angle MOC equals to angle ABC. So first, we will take triangle ABC. So here the proof. So in triangle ABC, ABC. So it is given that AB equals to AC. So AB equals to AC. So it is given. Given. So you know that the the sides opposite to the equal angles are always equal. So here the opposite sides are equal. As such, the opposite angles also will be equal. So let us take the angle here. So therefore, the angle opposite to the side AB. So this is the side AB. Opposite angle is C. So angle ACB, ACB equals to opposite side is AC, opposite angle is B. So there will be angle ABC. Since so angles opposite to so angles opposite to equal sides, opposite to equal sides, equal sides are equal. Are equal. Now the line segments OB OC bisect angle B and and angle C. So let us take say this one as angle one. This will be two. This will be taken as angle three and this one is taken as four. Now we will divide both these angles by two. So taking half. So half of angle. ACB is equal to half of angle ABC. We have taken half. You have taken half on both sides because here both these angles are are half of this angle because OB bisects angle B, and you have taken half of angle C. This will be C. So here ABC and ACB. So half of C, C. You have got that either three or four because OC bisects angle C. So now half of 
angle C, that means this angle. So you will take say angle 3 because 3 and 1 are the, the angles inside the triangle BOC. So 1 and 3, but this 2 and 4, they are this outside the triangle BOC. So we will take half of angle C. So half of angle C will be either angle 3 or angle 4. You will take angle 3 equals to half of angle ABC. So this so the half of this whole angle we will take angle 1. So here angle 1. Since since OB bisect OB bisects angle B, so this this line segment OB bisects angle B and OC bisects so OC bisects OC bisects angle C angle C so that is why the half of angle C so half of this this angle so you have taken angle 3 because this both are both the angles are equal because OC bisects angle C so you do angle 3 then half of angle B so half of this whole whole angle so you do angle 1 and these two angles are equal because OB bisects angle B so you do 1 now you want to prove that angle MOC so MOC equals to angle ABC so this angle should be equal to angle B so now let us take the triangle in this way say the triangle is so it is A so this one is BC and this is O and then produce to M so this is the triangle say this is O now here you will get that this, this angle will be the exterior angle so as such exterior angle of the triangle equals to the sum of the two root interior opposite angles so these are the two root angles so the sum of the angle B plus C equals to angle MOC so here now in the triangle OBC the side BO is is produced to M so here therefore you have got this angle exterior angle so you got angle MOC is equal to so this this exterior angle here exterior angle equals to the sum of the two interior opposite angles that means here angle 1 this will be 1 and this will be angle 3 so 1 plus 3 equals to angle MOC so you will get angle 1 plus angle 3 this is due to the exterior angle theorem so exterior angle theorem now, so you want to get angle MOC equals to angle ABC. So ABC. So here, angle MOC is equal to. Let us keep here one. So angle one plus. Now here, one and three are equal. So in place of angle three, we will put angle one because angle three equals to angle 1. So in place of angle 3, you can put angle 1. So here since angle 3 equals to angle 1. Now, here again we can say that angle MOC is equal to angle 1 plus. Now, these two angles, angle 1 and 2 are equal because the, the line segment OB bisects angle B. So this line segment OB divides angle B into two equal parts. That means angle 1 equals to angle 2. So in place of angle 1, we will put angle 2. So here this will be angle 2 because angle 1 is equal to angle 2. So now angle MOC This gives angle MOC equals to, so it is 1 plus 2, so it is 1 plus 2, you will get angle ABC. So you got angle ABC.
B, C. So here you have applied first the isosceles triangle property that means opposite sides equal. So you both the opposite angles equal from the theorem. Then since the line segment OB, OC bisects angle B and C, that is why you have divided by half on this both sides. So half of angle C equals to half of angle ABC. Now as these two angles are half of B and 3 and 4, each means angle equals to half of C. That is why half of angle ACB, so half of this angle, you have taken angle 3. So here angle 3. Then half of angle ABC, so half of this, this whole angle. So this two are the halves, angle 1 and 2 are the halves of angle B. So in place of half of angle ABC, so the half of this, this whole angle, you took angle 1. Because the line segment OB bisects angle B and the uh, line segment OC bisects angle C. So you have got it here. Now in the triangle BOC, so in the triangle BOC, if you means extend the line BO to M, so that the, the line BO to M, then you will get one exterior angle. So this, this is the exterior angle. So this angle equals to the sum of the two interior opposite angles. So these are the two removed interior opposite angles. So 1 plus 3, so 1 plus 3 equals to the exterior angle. So MOC. Now you need this angle MOC equals to angle ABC. So, so in place of 3, you have put 1, angle 1, because 3 and 1 both are equal. So in place of angle 3, you have put angle 1. Then, then in place of 1, then in, then in place of this 1, you have put angle 2, because OB bisect angle B. That means 1 and 2 angles are equal. So in place of 1, you have put angle 2. Now 1 plus 2, so 1 plus 2, you got angle ABC. Thus, angle MOC is equal to angle ABC. Hence it is true. So here you have applied the isosceles triangle property. Then you have applied the halves of the angle B and C. Then lastly you took the exterior angle theorem and then you have got the proof. Let us take the second exercise. So, in given in triangle ABC, the bisectors of bisectors of angle B and angle C and angle C meet at point P. Meet at point P middle point P. So through P, through P, a line LM, a line LM is drawn parallel to, is drawn parallel to BC meeting AB at L. equals to BL plus CL. So here the drawing is not given. So in the triangle ABC, bisectors of angle B and, and angle C meet at the point P. So in triangle ABC, so a triangle ABC, so A, B, C. Bisectors of angle B and angle C 
median point P. So bisector of B and angle C. So there will be the point P. So OP, so BP bisect angle B and CP bisect angle C. So these two bisectors median point P, a line, a so through P, so through this point P, so through the point P, a line LN is drawn parallel to BC. So through this point P, you will draw a line that will be parallel to the side BC meeting AB and L. So that is the side AB that will meet at L and the side AC and M. So the side AC and M. So through this point P, you will draw a line parallel to so the line the the, the line drawn through P parallel to BC meets AB at AB and M. So at L and the side AC and M. A C at M. Now you want to prove that L M. So the so to prove L M the length of L M equals to the sum of the segments B L plus C L. So L M equals to B L plus C L. So here now let us take the angles. Say you can name it angle one, angle two, angle three. Angle four. Then let us take this as angle five, and this will be as angle six. So here we will go by the question. So the so the line segment BP and the CP that will that that bisects angle B and angle C meet at the point P. Through this point P, the line LM is drawn parallel to the side BC. Then we meet the side AB and L and the side AC and M. That means LM is parallel to BC. If the side LM is parallel to BC, so LM is parallel to BC. So this is B, this is C. So you have LM. Let us take this L and this is L. Now the line segment here, that is PL. This is P. So this is P B. So P B is joined. So that means as these two lines are parallel, so here there is angle five. Here it is angle two. So now these two angles will be equal. As these two lines L M is parallel to B C, that is why angle two is equal to angle five. So you all know it. That is due to the alternate interior angles. So these two angles are equal. Again, we have shown here we can say that angle two is equal to angle five. So angle two equals to angle five alternate interior angles. Again, they have given that the line segment BB bisect angle B. So this line BB bisect angle B, which means these two angles are also equal. So you will get angle one is equal to angle two because. BP bisect angle B. That is why these two angles will be equal. Now, from these two equations, you will get that angle two is present in both the equation. So, as such, you can say that angle one is equal to so angle one equals to so. So, in place of angle two, we can write angle five because angle two equals to angle five. So, in place of angle two. You can write angle five. So angle one is equal to angle five. So if you put it similarly, you can show that angle four equals to angle six. How these two angles will be equal? So angle three is equal to angle four because CP bisects an angle C. Again, here the line segments say there is again PC. So you take PC. So here you put. Angle three, and here it is angle six. So the line LM is parallel to BC. That is why these two angles form a pair of alternate angles. So three and six, they are equal. So you will get angle three is equal to angle six, alternate interior. And then the line segment PC bisect angle C. 
So you get angle 3 is equal to angle 4. So 3 and 4 are equal. So compare these two equations, you will get so angle 3. So that means so in place of angle 3, you can put angle 6. So angle 6 equals to angle 4. So angle 6 equals to angle 4. So you will get these two. You can just write similarly. Then you can get angle 4 equals to angle 6. Now in the triangle LDP, in the triangle LDP, so in this triangle, you got the opposite angles equal. So 1 equals to 5. So from the theorem, you have got that the sides opposite to the equal angles are, are always equal. So since these opposite angles are equal, as we have proved it, so the angle is 1, so the opposite side is LP, so the Angle is 5, opposite side is LB. That is why you will get LB equals to LP because opposite angles are equal. That is why the opposite sides are also equal. So you got the opposite sides. Similarly, in the triangle NTC, NTC, as we have proved, angle 6 equals to angle 4. So the 6 and 4 are the opposite angles of triangle NTC. So their opposite sides are also equal. You will get MD equals to MC. So MD equals to MC. Now you take NM because they have given NM. So LM equals to you will get LB plus PM plus PM. So in place of LB you can put BL. So BL plus then in place of MB you can put CM. So you have got this proof. So first, you will take the alternate angles here. So 3 and 6 equal, 5 and 2 equal alternate. Then this line segment BP bisect angle B where 1 and 2 equal. Then here 3 and 4 equal because BC bisects angle C. Then you have got in, in the two triangles L, B, P and and P and C that their opposite angles are, are equal. So from the theorem, you have learned that if the opposite angles are equal, then their opposite sides are also equal. And finally, you have got this proof. So here proof. So here Angle 2 is equal to angle 5 and then angle 3 is equal to angle 6. So this 2 and 5 will be equal 3 and 6. The reason is here LM is parallel to BC. Since LM parallel to BC, so they are alternate interior. So they are alternate interior angles. So pair of alternate interior angles are equal. So alternate interior angles. So, we have got Now, again, so the line segment BP and CP meet at the point P, so they bisect angle B and, and angle C because it is given the bisectors of angle B and, and angle C. So the bisector is BP and CP that bisect angle B and means angle C. So, here again. Again, angle 1 is equal to angle 2. So 1 and 2, angle 1 and 2 are, are equal because, because here BP, so here BP bisect, so since BP bisect, bisect angle B. So now here you can say that angle 1 is equal to, so angle 2 equals to 5. That is, in place of angle 2, you can write angle 5. Since angle 2 is equal to angle 5. So, similarly, similarly, if you can prove that angle 1 equals to angle 5, similarly, you can prove that angle 6 equals to angle 4. So, similarly, angle 6 is equal to angle 4. So, now in triangle, so in triangle, LPB, so LPB, you have proved that 
1 equals to 5. Angle 1 equals to, an equals to angle 5. So angle 1 is equal to angle 5. How? You have proved above. You have proved above. So the reason is proved above. So in the triangle LPB, the opposite angles 1 and 5 border equal. So how? You have proved above. You, you have got it from here using these two equations. So now, since the opposite angles are equal, so by the theorem, you have got that their opposite sides are also equal. So now, the side opposite to angle 1, so the side that is opposite to angle 1 is LP, because the triangle is LPB. So this is the triangle. So it will be LP. So the side opposite to angle 5 is LB. This is angle 5 LB. So you will get L B. Since sides opposite to equal angles, sides opposite to equal angles, equal angles are equal. Are equal. Then in then in the triangle. So in triangle P and C. So in triangle P and C, you have proved that. Angle 6 equals to angle 4. So these two angles are also equal as proved. So angle 6 is equal to angle 4. So this is also proved above. So proved above. So angle 6 equals to angle 4. So therefore, therefore, so now these are the opposite angles that are equal in the triangle P and C therefore their opposite sides are also equal so the side opposite to angle 6 angle 6 opposite side is CL so it will be CL equals to the side opposite to angle 4 so angle 4 that is PM so it will be PM so now here you have got now that now LM so Lm equals to so Lm equals to Lp plus Pm. So Lp plus Pm. So equals to so Lp means you have got here. So here Lp means you have got Lb. So you have got that is Lb plus Pm. So Pm means Cm. So you have got C plus so Lm equals to Bm plus Cm. Thus it is proved. So here you have used the alternate interior angles. You have used the isosceles triangle property, which means that the opposite angles equal. You have used the opposite sides equal. Only those two theorems you have used here. So it is given that AB equals to BC. Let us mark it AB equals to BC. So if these two sides are equal, so you have got that their opposite angles are also equal. So you will get these two opposite angles because, because AB equals to BC. So as such angle A equals to angle C. Let us take this as 1, this will be 2. Then they have given AC equals to CD. So AC 
equals to CD. So these two sides are also equal. Let us name this as angle 3 and this will be angle 4. Angle 4. So in the triangle ACD, since AC equals to CD given, therefore they are opposite angles. So the angle opposite 4 is to the side AC. That is why angle 4 equals to angle 3. So by the isosceles triangle property, which means if their opposite sides are equal, then their opposite angles also are equal. So now here, let us use this first proof. So in triangle ABC, so ABC, it is given that AB equals to equals to BC. So here AB equals to BC. It is given. It is given. So in the triangle ABC, so AB equals to BC. So that is why, therefore, the angle opposite to the side AB. So this is the side AB and the triangle is ABC. So the opposite angle to the side AB is angle 2. So you will get angle 2 equals to the angle opposite to the side BC. So this is the side BC. Opposite angle is 1 because the triangle is ABC. Only this is the triangle. So you will get angle 1. So here since here angles opposite to angles opposite to equal sides. Angles opposite to equal sides. So the reason is this. That Similarly, in the triangle ADC, where AC equals to C, so this is also given. So, in triangle ACD, so AC, so AC equals to CD, this one is also given. So, this one is given. So, therefore, the angle opposite to side AC, so this is the AC side opposite angle is 4. So angle 4 equals to the angle opposite to the side C. So C is this side. So you will get the opposite angle 3. So it will be angle 3. So the reason is the same. Now here they have given the angle BAD. So BAD is to angle ADB. So BAD. So this angle and this angle ratio should be 3 is to 1. So now, here, what we will do is, we will take the triangle in this way. Now, we will consider the triangle in, in this way. So it is A, it is C, this is D. And you take the side B. So, so it's point B. And here you got angle 2, A, C, D. A, C, D, angle 2. And here it is given angle 3. And here it is angle 4. Now, let us assume that these two angles has got a common measurement. These two are equal. You can take as X because they are now equal. So here, let angle 4 is equal to angle 3. Say you have got X. So it's X degree. Let us say that as yes, their measurements are Equal, let us take their angle as say, x. Now in the triangle ACD, so ACD, the side DC is, is produced to point B, forming the exterior angle 2. So this is one exterior angle. So this is the one. So ACD. So ACD. So the, so the exterior angle equals to the sum of the two interior opposite angle. That means angle 2 equals to angle 3 plus angle 4. So here, assuming that there is no triangle ABC here. So then just to, just to extend the side DC to D, then you will get that this angle ACB, so ACB becomes the exterior angle. So here, angle 2 equals to angle 3 plus angle 4. So 3 plus 4. That means exterior angle equals to the sum of the two interior opposite angles. So this is by exterior angle theorem. So exterior 
angle theorem theorem so this gives so angle 2 equals to now 3 and 4 each you to x degree so 4 4 equals to x degree angle 3 equals to x degree so 3 and 4 means x plus x you have got twice x so you got angle 2 as s as this twice x now you need this angle so now b a d so here this angle 2 equals to angle 1 so here 2 and 1 are also equal so you can write here then so in place of angle 2 you can write 1 why because because after that you will be taking angle b a d so b a d where you will get 1 and 3 the sum of the angles 1 plus 3 you will get b a d so that is why now here angle 2 is going to be replaced by angle 1 because these two are equal. So here you will write angle 1 is equal to twice x. So, so in place of 2 it is angle 1 equals to twice x. So here now next you will come to angle B A D. So angle B A D is to angle A D B. So angle a D B. So now to get this angle equals to so B A D means B A D means angle 1 plus angle 3. So angle 1 plus angle 3 is to angle A D B. So A D B means angle 4. So you will get here angle 4. So here now angle 1 you have got twice x. So in place of angle 1 you write twice x plus angle 3 you have got you have taken as x then that angle 3 equals to angle 4 you took as x so in place of angle 3 you will take x so it will be x is to angle 4 so 4 is also x so you have taken x this implies so you will get 3x is to x then by dividing on both sides that is 3x divided by x you will cancel this x and then you will get 3 by 1. That means you will get 3 is to 1. So, so it is so angle B A D is to angle A D. So here you have used the exterior angle theorem and the isosceles triangle property. At first you have used the isosceles triangle property where the sides are equal as such the opposite angles are also equal in both the triangles. Next, you have taken this, this triangle and the side DC is taken as means uh, extended to the point B, forming this exterior angle. So, you can use the second part as the exterior angle theorem. And then after that, you have, you have taken this one and, and in your place, you have put their values. So, B A D, so B A D means angle 1 plus, plus angle 3. And A D B. So A D B. You have taken angle 4. So here 1 denotes twice x. So it is twice x. Angle 3 that is x. So you took the 3 as x. And angle 4 that is, that is also x. Then twice x plus x, 3x is 2x. Then taken here. So you, you have divided and then you have got 3. Let us take the last sum given. Your ABCD is a parallelogram. And E is the midpoint. E is the midpoint of side BC. Of side BC. So D and A E when extended meted. So meet at point F. F. 
Now to prove. So to prove. So AF equals to twice of AB. So here the drawing is given. So here ABC is a parallelogram. So it is A, B, C, D. This is point E and here the point F. So you have got this concept of parallelogram from class 8. So the parallelogram, so A, B, C, D. Parallelogram, which is the opposite pair of sides are parallel. That means AB is parallel to DC. As the side AB is means uh, extended to the point F. That means AF is parallel to the side DC. Also DA is parallel to C. Now the side DE and M AB. So DE and M means AB extended meet at point point F. So the side AB. So that, that means extended and the side DE also means extended. So both it meet at one at point F. So now to prove AF, so AF equals to twice of AB. So you, you are to prove that AF should be double of the side AB. So here first, so E is the midpoint of side BC. So E is the midpoint of side BC. So here that means here the segment CE equals to equals to EB. Now these two segments are equal because it is given that E is the midpoint of BC. But here AB equals to DC because the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. So now to get the AF double of AB, so AF double of AB. So the first step is you will make these two, tri two triangles congruent. So these two triangles, one is the triangle DEC and FEB. So you will make these two triangles congruent. By making these two triangles congruent, you will get their corresponding parts equal. That means you will get the length of B, BF equals to you will get the length of DC. So how? Let us take that here, these two angles are equal. So these two angles will be means equal. So due to particularly opposite angles. Then from this triangle DCE, you have got the length of C, CE. And from the triangle FEB, you have got the length of DE. So these two segments are equal. Because, so it is given that E is the midpoint of BC. That is why here BE equals to CE. Now, so these two angles equal vertically opposite angles. So you got one here there. Let us take here one and two. So angle one equals to angle two. You will get vertically opposite angles. And then here point E, midpoint of BC. So you got CE equals to BE because here E is midpoint of BC. E is midpoint mid of BC. BC. Then here, as the line segment DC parallel to the side AB, so here this is DC, and here so it is given AF. See. Now here, so these two lines are parallel because the figure is a parallelogram where the opposite pair of sides are equal as well as parallel. That is why DC is parallel to AF. Now here, if you take this, join this D and F, you will get here, so these two angles also will be equal. So these two angles are equal. So that means angle CDE equals to angle BFE because they form a pair of alternate interior angles. So let us take this as 3 and this will, this will be taken as 4. So now 3 and 4 equal resulting alternate interior angles 1 and 2 equal vertically opposite angles and CE equals to BE because E is the midpoint of BC so in this triangle you took angle 1 angle 3 and you took to this side so the triangles are congruent by angle angle side 
So my A came as the two triangles are congruent. Therefore, the corresponding parts DC and DF also are equal. So you will get DC equals to DF. So here proof a triangle DEC, so DEC and triangle, so F. B F E, so it is D F E, so D F E. So the first one you will get these two lines segment that is B C and D F. So middle point E, so their vertically opposite angles are equal. So angle one is equal to angle two. It is vertically opposite angles, vertically opposite angles. Then the line segment D C is parallel to A F. That is why angle 3 equals to angle 4 alternate. So angle 3 equals to angle 4 alternate angles. So it is alternate angles. Then the last one, you have got that the point E, midpoint of BC, therefore BE equals to CE. So here CE equals to BE. Since E is midpoint, midpoint of so BC. So you have got the three condition. That is why the triangle DEC congruence to triangle BFE so BFE by so angle angle side. So by AAS so by AAS the, the triangles are congruent. Therefore the corresponding parts DC so DC equals to BE. So DC equals to BF. So here DCE, so DE, so it will be FEB. It will be FEB. So therefore, FEB. So therefore, DC equals to FB. So DC equals to FB by CC. Now the last part. So here, now these two segments are equal. Again, you have got the DC equals to AB. So DC equals to AB. So here, DC equals to AB. So it is opposite sides of parallelogram. Opposite sides of parallelogram. So here, this gives, so from these two equations, you have got DC equals to FB by CPCD. DC equals to FB opposite sides of parallelogram. That is why from these two equations you have got FB equals to AB. So FB equals to AB. So here FB equals to AB. Now here AB. So AF. So here AF equals to AB plus BF. So AB plus BF, you will get AF. So here, this gives AF equals to, so there is AB, so you keep the AB, so plus in place of BF, so you will put AB, so in place of BF, you will put AB, so AB. So this gives AF equals to twice of AB, so it is good. So this we have completed chapter number 7. Thank you.